Welcome everybody, I'm Nina and let's talk about fashion today. So I really like street fashion, but the problem is, and maybe you have this exactly same thing, while I can't really afford all of those expensive streetwear brands, but I also don't want to look like I just buy everything from fast fashion brands, so I kind of have to find the middle ground, and that's where this video comes into play. I want to put my little twist on things like clothes from H&M, and that's where this jacket right here comes into play, because that's what we will um, improve, I guess, today. <laughs> In Germany, we have a perfect word for what I'm trying to do today. It's called Verschlimmbesser. It basically translates to making things a lot worse by trying to make them better and uh, so yeah this jacket right here I mean it looks fine but it also looks like it came from H&M which is fine in itself but I want to make it a little bit more special so I will cut a little bit off from the bottom hem right here to have this kind of vintage look of it and then also I will bleach it and I guess my hair is also kind of a clue for that but I love bleaching things I don't know why, just the transition of having something that is like dark fabric and make it go to light fabric is just amazing. So first I will try to cut up a little bit of the jacket and make it look a little bit worn out and then I will dunk it into bleach. The thing is I don't want to bleach the whole thing, I just want to bleach a little bit of the bottom part so that it looks like a dip dye effect, kind of. Hopefully this looks good, because if not, then I will be very sad. I have a vision and hopefully I can do it the way I want to. Also, before we get right into it, uh, there are about three things you need for today if you want to follow this tutorial. <laughs> so the first one is a pair of scissors, then also a pair of tweezers and obviously bleach if you want to bleach something. So there we go. So let's get into the cutting part. And now I will try to make it look a little bit more worn out. So right now I will just cut off a little bit of the bottom part and hopefully that will look good. <laughs> By the way, that's how fabric, H&M fabric looks from the inside apparently. Um, and now we can roughen it up and that's where the tweezers come in handy. You basically just take the tweezers and squeeze all of the strings that come out here and uh, you do that for pretty much the whole thing here so that might take a moment Welcome back everybody I kind of got bored just ripping my jacket in pieces so I decided why not just bleach it and then later I can still decide how I want to do everything. Here are two cuts and I don't like them. And I was lucky enough to find one of those things where you just take the iron and basically either glue them on or iron them on. So I will do that for the, for the top one. For the bottom one I'm not sure it, it might be fine just the way it is. So, I have bleach here, I have a safety glove on, <laughs> just one, <laughs> now I will bleach. Also, don't do this if you're not a professional like me. So here is also my trusty DIY box, as you can see I have already done a few things for this. Maybe we just need more bleach. Don't think I see any color coming out. I thought I had dipped my hand in there already. Okay. Oh no, it's working. Okay, okay, nice. I just need more bleach. Okay, so the bleach is turning the jacket red. <laughs> For some reason. So, okay, I will just leave this here. Okay, quick update, that's how the jacket looks like currently. I wanted it to be white originally, but I don't think that that's happening. But this light pink is also fine, so I'm probably going to take this to the washing machine, wash it, dry it, and then tomorrow I will continue. Welcome back! Alright, so how does the jacket look like? 
So this is the front and this right here is the back. So I would say that it's definitely an improvement to the way it looked originally, but you might disagree. <laughs> I don't know, it's your opinion. I mean, I'm not trying to do rocket science here. I really just bleached a little bit, distressed the jacket a little bit, and that's it. <laughs> All right, so now we are back here on my table. I do have those safety pins, so I might just use those. So first I will glue this fish on here. Okay, the instructions say that you should let this be for a few minutes. I hope this dries clear. If not, I have a problem. Also, fun fact, I was trying to start a Minecraft Let's Play because why not? <laughs> but the problem is that my laptop can't handle it. So sadly, there won't be a Minecraft Let's Play from me, at least not anytime soon. I'm not sure why, but I have those um, plastic things right here. I think it's from a different shirt I had. And I think uh, if I glue them on here, it could look cool. Okay, I will do the last one down here and pray that it looks good. So now I have super glue because I'm repeating this mistake. I think the only thing I can really do right now is wait until this has dried, until this has dried. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm going to do, and when I'm done, I will start recording again. Okay, as you can probably see, this looks horrible. <laughs> There's like all the glue stains, and also, it doesn't even stick, so it's very much pointless. So what I'm going to do is I will super glue it together, and then I will take some of my mother's paint and try to fix it. And hopefully it will look okay. <laughs> All right, and as you can see, I'm back in my mom's, I won't pronounce this word in English, I have no idea how to say it, a drawing room. Um, well, this color looks similar. I know that I'm making a mess out of things sometimes, but you can say that I'm not fixing my messes, so... I mean, I could use this chance and maybe do something more exciting with the paint. Okay, I will take black paint and then I will overdraw a little bit here at the hem again and it might look good, it might not. It's there, you don't even know, it's so convenient that my mother has all of those colors here. I do have to say, I'm not sure how she thinks about this because I didn't ask her, but she's not here at the moment, so it's not my fault. <laughs> You can't really see it on camera, can you? <laughs> it's a little bit black on here on the sides. So I don't know about accuracy, but the black lines are finished. And now I will super glue the fish to the jacket. <laughs> that's pretty much it for this video. Um, surprisingly, this jacket turned out way better than I thought, especially in regards of those black lines I did, because I wasn't so sure when I began. The biggest mistake I made was this fish right here. I shouldn't have put it there, um, but I kind of managed to fix it, at least the glue around here, so that's fine. But yeah, if you like this DIY project and want to see me make more of those, then please tell me by either liking this video or just writing it down below. And please subscribe as well, so you will stay tuned for future videos. And I guess I will see you in the next video. Bye!